So we certainly want to make sure uh, that we start off with a good plan, right? The, the, the planning is, you know, you have to take time. You have to uh, put the time and effort in into uh, making sure you have a good plan as to how you're going to go about accomplishing uh, whatever your mission is, whatever your vision is, you know, what it is that you're trying to accomplish, right? How are you going to go about doing that? So you need to make sure uh, that you have a proper plan in place uh, and then you can start to build upon that. You can start to move forward uh, once you have that in place. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. Okay, let me say that again because it's important. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. All right, who do you want to be? I'm going to tell you this, I'm passive is going to give us all that option to be who we really want to be. Uh, I have changed uh, my thoughts about where where I want to go later down the road. And I think because um, the family that we have built, it's very important that uh, we look out for each other. There's people that are really good at something. I'll give an example. And this is one I brought up the other day. I was making a banner for heroes. I got done with it. I looked at it and I went, that's ugly. It's okay, but I don't like it. So I said, oh, I'll go, I go see Tim Johnson. Now, Tim's not the only one. So a lot of people that do really, really good ones. Tim's the one I knew offhand. Nobody's better. I went to him, didn't give him a heads up, didn't do not. Tim, can you make me a banner? Of course, I do everything late. You guys know that. I don't need anybody to say, yeah, I know you suck. I get it, okay? But he did the banner probably an hour later. It was done. And it was perfect. I mean, amazing. He has a skill. He can do something that well. That's why I say... Some people are better speakers. Some people do better content. Some people write better. Like I would do um, Oh, she has to go get shorty. Um, so like when I used to do older responders, I would write it, but it was ne never as good as me talking. So I teamed up with Dan Street, and Dan could write beautifully. And it made all the difference in the world. Team up with people, trust one another. Everybody's different. Everybody could have their own lane. I know many times when I talk to people, yeah, but I can't do that. Never start a sentence with I can't. Start a sentence with I can, because you can do something very good that maybe you don't know yet. But step outside the box. I brought this up over the weekend. Uh, and when they feel that, Julie, uh, they become a lifelong uh, customer. Because, um, again, the experience. No one wants to have a bad experience, right? But unfortunately in life, you do have good and bad experiences, right? How do you react to them, right? But from a company standpoint, what you're trying to do is to ensure that the end user, the customer, it's all about the customer, right? It's, it's not even so much about your staff. It's more about your, your customers, right? The customers are the ones that, that will keep you in business. Right? If you have no customers, you know, uh, you're just not going to be in business, right? So you have to have customers. So a majority of your attention has to be focused on them, right? I want to make sure that everything is done in, in such a way that they will appreciate what it is that you've done for them. They will appreciate, you know, um, all the hard work and time that has gone in to prepare uh, you know, yourself for the marketplace. And that's what OnPassive has been doing, right? It's getting everything um, done in such a way that customers will stay. What I really appreciate about what OnPassive does is that they do have the products that they create from scratch. They have the products that basically simple, easy to use. Um, and, and, and also as they as a inventor, I would say about these business on passive has the full control of it, how they can make adjustment, how they going to make some changes as well. And as the business growing, we tend to 
takes time and evaluate the business, evaluates the direction where we're going and making adjustment if needed. Right, Michael? But you, you have to be prepared for change, uh, yeah. Julie, right? You, you have to. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's, it's external. Sometimes the market is changing. You know, uh, maybe it's from a demographic standpoint. You maybe have an aging population. You know what I mean? It's like you have to be prepared for change and you have to be able to then adapt to that change. You know, um, so your market can dictate, uh, you know, your course of action. Right. Uh, so that's important uh, as well. Sometimes it's internal. Right. Sometimes you have to make change changes uh, inside, right, inside the company, whether it's staffing, uh, whether it's a business plan. Um, you know, whether it's your marketing uh, strategies, right? You have to be able to uh, make changes, Julie. So you have to be flexible, right? And and I think a lot of people don't understand that in business, uh, the flexibility uh, that comes uh, in building a real business. Uh, you have to, um, again, 